Welcome to the Road Builder Games YouTube channel. A YouTuber named Dezend has challenged me to see who can get to 100,000 subscribers first. He's currently at 22,000 subscribers, and I don't even have a thousand yet. To put it simply, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, we're going over texture packs one more time because a new one has just released. Now, before we get too far in, I need to let you know that this one on this side right here was made by Dev for Hire, and this one was made by Flame Dev. Now, Flame Dev had had a lot of textures in his pack, but they weren't all uh, seamless, meaning you could easily see them being tiled over and over again, and that's why I never used his pack. So, delete it. You know, get it out of here. Be gone. And I always use Dev for Hire's pack. But today, Flame Dev has tweeted, <gasps> Texture pack is here, guys. Now, this one has 300 oh plus God. textures, and all textures are seamless. This huge. He even tagged me. He said, thoughts on the new pack, question mark? So what we're gonna do right now is hop in and check this thing out, see what's new, what is gonna be usable, and hopefully there's gonna be more that I'd be willing to use. If I like it, I'm gonna drop a like on it. I got you, bro. I'll leave this page open. All right, guys, uh, keep in mind the link will be huh? below for this pack right here. Uh, I'll link the tweet so he could get some Twitter followers as well. You know, stuff like that. Anyways, let's delete Death for Hire's pack because it's not the focus of today. But if we see, this is over double the size of Death for Hire's pack. So there should be a lot more stuff that we're able to use. And I'm super excited to get into it. First thing I notice is more of the realistic or stylized type textures, which I'm super excited for. This wood looks fantastic. And we have like... Yeah, all these stylized textures, honestly, they just look sick. So that'll help a lot of people. We do have a layered water texture now, which is great. Previously, we only had a... You know what? Maybe I should keep Death for Hire's pack. And by the way, in no means is this video to uh, put down one pack over the other. It's just to show the differences between the two. But now we have these cool layered water styles. In comparison, we used to only have this water here, which is great. But it does lose out on a bit of the detail, especially if you have layered ones like, uh, I already lost them, like this. And by layered, I just mean how you can see multiple sets of lines with different opacities and stuff like that. So first things, we got an awesome water. We have stylized textures. And if these are truly seamless, I will be super excited. And this will definitely be the new pack I use all the time. I will say this, t I just got to test it, okay? Because there's some textures that you just see them. And you're like, nah, it's not, it's not going to look great, right? Like, even if it's seamless, it's probably not going to look that awesome. Because you can clearly tell that it's being repeated and clearly see the tiling. Basically, when you're looking for a texture, you want to look for something that goes all the way to the edge, like this one, how there's half on each side. If I paste this onto this block right here, you'll notice it's hard to see the tiling. You can't really see where they repeat unless you get like really out here. But if you're down here, you don't really notice any bit of repeating like you did on the other ones. So, of course, some of these are better than others. Anything that's like this, uh, all of these really from the old pack, just not really great. Uh, I'll show you, for example, we'll just grab this one, control C, and we'll paste it onto here. As you can see, you can clearly tell where the tiling is. Let me make this like, like that, I guess. You can clearly tell where it tiles. And if we go to Dev for Hire's pack and look at his rendition of this, so we have these rocks. If we go over here and look at his rendition, we have this or this, and as you can see, they go off the canvas. And that's what you're looking for because that means at the start of the next one will be the rest of the shape. And it makes the tiling effect uh, pretty nilled out. So some of these, of course, from the old pack, I really wouldn't recommend using, like, anything that's like this. If it doesn't hang off the side, it's not going to be very uh, seamless, I guess. Now, there was something I was super interested in when I first saw this pack, and that's going to be over on this side, guys. Glass textures. So you throw these on a window for a building, and instantly just have so much better of, like, a a look, a vibe, and these are real stylized. They're not super realistic. They're just real, real nice. So definitely excited to use those. What else do we have? There's just so much here 
that you can oh i feel like you could spend a whole day and just go through this multiple times and every time you go through it you're gonna find a new one that'll be your favorite texture this is a great wood texture right here maybe it does look a little i'm gonna try it because i feel like it's gonna it's gonna be a very uh iffy one we're gonna try though guys boom let's paste it into this part and just to sell our effect let's make that part uh brown of course we're making the texture brown and not the part that's awesome all right there we go so as you can see it isn't that bad because it only tiles in one direction uh as you can see like you can clearly tell when the texture is restarting but going in this direction it doesn't tile too bad this one uh it's definitely doable yo i can't get over these waters though they look so good and the grass is, like if we think about oh i don't i can't i'm not even gonna get into all that right now but there's so much like useful things in here especially like all the stylized textures there's we have this which would be great oh all of these actually these three we got one two and three those are gonna be great for like your medieval housing roofs what is this this would be like the side of a path hold on because i gotta i gotta see what's going on with that one because it could be like magical or it could be not wait hold on what's what is this oh there's two textures and they put them on okay hold on we're pasting them into here we're gonna find out what's good with these uh i i don't know <laughs> i don't know with this one what color is the part forest green and neon okay forest green is neon really the uh the factor that makes it work okay guys i don't know how that one works genuinely not a clue because it's one part oh wait oh i copied the line from on top of it wait so the line is two textures and then this is all right we're trying it guys here we go let's take that texture off and paste this one in bro am i wait now there's okay yeah I, I don't really understand this one there's a lot going on here splitting so it's like this whole set it'd be cool if you got it working it's, it's it's a lot more work than just copy and pasting it but uh i'm pretty sure it'd be awesome if you did it in the right way let's see i want to find one more that i just absolutely love I, I'm really gonna be sticking to this stylized side. They look so, so good. If we go from like his old texture pack, which was predominantly like, stuff like this, that tiled very badly because there's nothing overhanging the outsides to this, like all these stylized textures, so, so good, man. Great job on the new pack. Uh, I kind of wish, you know what? I think I'm gonna take all of the packs, put them all together and delete all the bad textures and just have like a custom one for me. <laughs> because there's a lot of these that i'll never use simply because the tiling is so bad but great job on the new pack flame dev and appreciate you for helping the community as much as you do i do think that is going to wrap it up for today if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later